Okay, so this is my review of the Crossman GF600. It's a airsoft revolver. Um, and you can see I've uh, been using it a bit. There's some paint from the paintball people right here. All right. Uh, first off, let's go over how you fill it up. It's a CO2 revolver. So you pop that off. Put the cartridge in, and it doesn't require a tool, which is nice. So just screw that in, and you get a lot of shots out of this thing. All right, push this back together. There you go. All right, so um, it's very simple to operate. It has a switch here, which has three positions. The first is safe, so when it's there, it doesn't fire. The middle position is fire. And there are no BBs in it. There's not even a, uh, a ring loaded in. Okay. And you can fire it uh, double action or single action. All right. And to load it, you pop this and then open it up. And here's the wheel. So this is, these are the uh, rings it comes with. And you load these with a speed loader. Just put the BB right there. Okay. Or you can just load them by hand. All right. Here's one with all the BBs in it. Put it in. Close it. There you go. Very simple. I'll unload it here so I don't shoot the BB around. And you can see if it's kind of if you see that the barrel that's the barrel there and that's where it fits. There is no hop up on this. Um, you know, it, some people think it's a fixed hop up, but it's not. It's just no hop up. So the BB is going to drop. And I use point twos or point two fives, and you get about twenty yards. Got nice sights on it. Let's go get this. Yeah white dot in front there. Put my name on it because my last revolver got lost. No one returned it. Um, you can see this is uh, metal. Okay. And then this is, see how this is worn already? This is plastic. Right, this is all plastic. And the cylinder is plastic. And you can see where it's wearing here. So eventually this is going to give out. See how it's wearing off here. It looks pretty nice. There's some paint from the paintball people. Um, and it's pretty heavy. Because I think the main part of the metal and the metal runs down here. All right. So um, the simple part is loading it. Close it. Fire. You're off. The tricky part is, uh, where do you keep the rings? All right, I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so um, obviously if you have a auto pistol, you just keep mags in your mag pouches, but where do you keep uh, these little plastic rings? Okay, so the system I've come up with is, um, I load them up, and then I put this piece of paracord just on my belt. And then the rings are just run through with a paracord and a piece of tape. So the idea is when you need a new ring, this one's empty, you just yank. And what it does is it just rips the tape and then you have a new ring. And these just hang off your belt. You can have as many as you want. And they stay there, they're very light. And I've tried this before, it worked really well. You just yank, tape rips, and you have a new. And then obviously you take your empty, your empties, and you're just going to put those in your uh, your dump pouch. Okay, so here it is in the holster, and it, you can see it fits in a. This is a stand, a universal holster. It's just a fabric, and it doesn't require any special fitting. So. Like I said, this is a, this is a universal holster. 
like that. And then here's where the, the extra, um, I don't know, ring holder is. Make sure we're in the same, so you pull it out like that. The key is just to uh, make sure you don't misplace these things. They're very hard to find. And as a matter of fact, um, uh, I had to call Crossman to get them. Because from what I understand, the, the gun wasn't that popular. And so um, I don't think they marketed them separately in the stores. So if you want to get these little rings, um, you have to call Crossman, send them some money, and they'll send you the rings. Um, there you go.